Hi friends, in my previous video, I already explained about Kirchhoff laws. In the Kirchhoff laws, we have seen one is junction law, another is loops law. So first, the junction law is the sum of incoming currents at a point will be equal to the sum of the outgoing currents. It is a simple point about the junction law. For more, check the video. I will give the link of this video in the description. Next, coming to loops law, the algebraic sum of the total loop components see the algebraic sum of the increases of the voltage or decreases of the voltage at any components will be equal to zero next for the loops law we have applied some sign conventions and we got the values that is for one loop we got minus v2 plus i2 r2 minus i1 r1 plus v1 how we got this so by applying the sign conventions so all i already said that in my next video i will upload a video which is related to sign conventions which is used in the kirchhoff laws so let's go to our topic that is sign conventions which is used in the kirchhoff laws so the topic as it is the title scene the kirchhoff laws the sign conventions so the sign convention which is used in the kirchhoff laws that is the title i have taken simple for better understanding the following steps has to be followed for application of sign conventions in kirchhoff laws so some basic steps are there to follow by application of the Kirchhoff laws. So let's go the sign conventions. That is the first point. EMF of the battery is taken as negative when we move from positive terminal to negative terminal across the battery. So for this case, the figure one explains neatly see. So if the EMF it is transferring from positive to negative, then we will take as negative voltage. This is the case. Next. The opposite will be this in the next point. It is taken as positive when we move across the battery from negative terminal to positive terminal. So the EMF of the battery it is taken as positive when we move from negative terminal to positive terminal. So this is the case. So for this two I will explain once again see easy both are opposite to each other. Simple friends see the EMF of the battery it is moving from positive to negative. So the output is negative. So we will take as what will say negative voltage next come to our next point that is if the emf of the battery it is going from negative to positive so in this case the output is positive so we will take at the positive voltage this is the two points let's go for the third point so the direction of the electric current is to be observed to give the sign to potential difference of the resistor so if any resistor is there at that time we have to see the direction of the current it may be from right to left or left to right. Based on the direction of the current, the voltage difference across the resistor can be given. Next, the fourth point, the potential difference across the resistor is taken as negative when we move along the direction of electric current through the resistor. So for this total point, I will explain same. If the EMF of the battery across the resistor and the current direction, if both are in same direction, then we will take as the negative voltage. This is the simple. Next, the opposite will be there. See the next point. If it is taken as positive when we move against the direction of electric current through the resistor. So in this case, the EMF of the resistor, if the EMF of the resistor and the current direction, if both are in opposite, then we will take as the positive. So for this two, I will explain see once again, both are opposite to each other. So the potential difference across the resistor and the current if both are in same direction then we will take it as the negative in the next case if the potential difference and current if both are in opposite direction then we will take as the positive voltage this is the case next for these total points i have taken one simple example for easy understanding let's go to the example see once check the example find the resultant potential difference the potential difference is taken as the voltage we know so the potential difference from a given figure based on the loops law so the given one loop for this loop we have to find the potential difference so the potential difference according to the loops law we have to get the zero let's apply the potential difference for this the sign conventions is used so let's go using the loops law in a b c d e a so here is the loop c this is the identification marks i have taken a b c d e a this is one loop it is completed it is closed circuit so in this circuit we have one voltage one resistor and the current direction so let's proceed according to our sign conventions 
so the potential difference at the battery is negative voltage so that is negative v1 we will get so let's check it out why they taken minus v1 so as we have seen the first point if the emf it is moving from positive to negative so as the output is negative so we have to take the minus v1 for the first point it is satisfying here see next at resistance r1 at the resistance r1 the potential difference is i1 and r1 so in this case see if the potential difference across the resistor it is what we will say it is opposite to the current direction see the b2 c the potential difference is moving but the current is moving from c to b so both are opposite if both are opposite what happened we will take as the positive it is the fifth point next the resultant potential difference in the circuit is so we have to add the total that is we have we will get minus v1 plus i1 r1 equal to 0 this is the loops law so according to loops law we applied the sign convention c once again i will explain see as we are moving the emf is moving from positive to negative so as it is moving from positive to negative we will get the minus v1 next go for the next case the potential difference across the resistor it is moving from b to c and the current is moving from c to b so as both are in opposite direction we will take as the positive that is r1 i1 we will get so add the both we will get that is minus v1 plus i1 r1 equal to 0 so i hope you have understood the topic and kitchen of loss videos link i will give in the description try to check it out